just across the Cumberland River from those neon lights of Broadway, we welcome you inside Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. Stage is set. Ball is on the tee. And off we go on EA Sports. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. On the ground for the first time. Here comes Jonathan Taylor. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. On second down, Richardson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. From the gun on third down, Richardson. And he'll be taken down, but good enough to keep this drive going. It's a first down. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. On first down, it's Richardson. The ball deflected at least a couple of times. A little ball to the ground. It's incomplete. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. And he will go all the way. Alec Pierce, touchdown, Indy. And that is the way to start a game. Not just score, but Greg, score quickly. A nice opening drive for the first six points. Well, it seems, Mike, the hour spent on that opening game script was time well spent. I mean, to take the ball right down the field that quickly, right out of the gates, that's a pretty good opening drive and an early six points. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. A safe kick taken at the five. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. On play action, here's Levis. Now he'll run. Can't beat those legs. 13-yard pickup. A scramble leads to a first down. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. On first down, Levis. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first, and what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Every offensive coordinator has drive starters, meaning it's a completion. It's a run play that we feel great about. It's a screen. Get a little positive energy into that huddle, and what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. That was some good downhill running to get him about six yards and set up a much more manageable third down.
The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page, and now brings up fourth down. And that's going to work out well. Out of bounds, and they mark it inside the five-yard line. The Colts offense ready now for their second drive. And they're going to hear it from this crowd. They're backed up deep as they start first and ten. On first down, they'll start with Taylor. And he's got it to the 14-yard line. It's a nice start to the drive. A gain of ten and a quick first down. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. Initially, when the quarterback looked his tight end's way, I thought he had a chance for a big pickup. He had nice separation there early. Let's give credit to the defense. They were able to rally quickly to the ball and Keep that from being an even bigger game. A second down throw for Richardson. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. So after one, it's the Colts out to the early lead. We're back in Music City after this. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the gun, Richardson. That one complete to Pierce. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Remember, he had the touchdown on the opening drive. And here on drive two, he gets a first down with that catch. Out of shotgun, Richardson. And the tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. And he finds some space, tackled after a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. Zone read, it's a give to Taylor. And they will take him down at the 20 yard line. Call it a gain of 13. That's good for a Colts first down. It's been a really nice drive they've been able to put together, Mike, and I think the key word is balance. Not having to rely too heavily on either the run or the pass. Continue to mix it up, going back and forth. Keep the defense off balance. A lot of success. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine.
throwing on second down. Richardson. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. How about four catches on this drive alone? Time to change the defense. This one gets him another first down. Here's Richardson. That is caught by the tight end. Mo Alley Cox. Touchdown, Colts. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one on one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. He fields it at the 8. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Titans offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit. 14-0 the score as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and 10. Out of the shotgun, Levis to the left side in the hands of Gore. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Out comes the Tennessee offense. They get set to see what they can do. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. Levis to throw on first and ten. This is one of those throws where I don't think the risk is worth the reward. If you're going to throw the ball into tight coverage and take a chance, it better lead to a big gain, and in this case, a pretty modest pickup, considering that was a risky throw. A second down throw here for Levis. A ball deep for the end zone. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. Tony Pollard, the intended receiver, out of the backfield. Third down coming up. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner, and next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. From the gun, it's Levis. He's got his man. Right side, it's complete. And he will have a first down, and they're in the field goal range now at the 30. Now Levis, he's going to get it to Okonkwo. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. Mike, you've heard me say it a thousand times. The easiest down to throw the ball in the NFL is first down. I hate when teams wait till later in the possession to throw the ball. So. Early first down completion, you're on the plus side of the field. Now you're thinking strike. Touchdown, field goal, but either way, I'm coming away with points. Nick Folk now on with the field goal unit. This a 31-yard attempt. Folk's kick is good. And the Titans get their first points of the game. They trail 14 to 3. 
And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well, you're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. So two seconds left to play and the kicks away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So they'll take over at the 30-yard line. The Colts offense going to get it one final time in this first half. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. They do try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go and the second half is underway. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Titans offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. To throw is Levis. Connecting with his tight end, Okonkwo. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. The drag route, we used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catchability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. The throw right side, taken in by Bork. And he's gonna get this one out to the 43 yard line. Pickup of 11 yards on that one. That's good for a Titan first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. That's 11 yards again, two plays in a row. And another first down. So the hope is, when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on them early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. That's 11 yards again, two plays in a row. And another first down. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. Throwing on second down, Levis. He finds DeAndre Hopkins for the catch. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. They, they, they can't imagine that a defensive coordinator would say, hey, we're just going to have one guy defend you all by himself. And... After that last completion on the way back to the hole. And he will score. Alvin Ridley. Touchdown Titans. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job. But can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense. Let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do. And he'll get in for. 
for the two-point conversion. And now the deficit is just a field goal. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Josh Downs now on the return and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the Colts offense ready for their first possession of this second half they lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten Here's Richardson. That's the tight end, Moali Cox. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. So often, the only way to combat the perfect blitz call is to beat the blitz with the ball. That's exactly what the quarterback does here. He's able to find his open man and get the ball out of his hand because he holds on to that ball for one count longer. It most likely was going to result in a sack. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier. And that catch gets him a first down. Throwing Richardson. He's got a receiver. That's Michael Pittman. First time they've looked his way all game long. But he comes through with the grab and a first down. So three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Richardson will give it to Taylor. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Richardson. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. They'll try and run for this. It's Taylor. A field goal, no gimme from this distance. He'll go on fourth down. Now Richardson. That is incomplete. They took a chance throwing it on fourth and short, but not to be, and they'll turn it over on downs. You know, more often than not in the NFL, games are won based on who wins critical downs. Well, that fourth down attempt right there was exactly that, and this defense came up huge for a big-time fourth down stop. On first and ten, here's Levis. Open man, he's got four. They'll get 11 there, and that's a quick first down. Levis to throw. To the sideline. He's got Hopkins. Yeah. 
The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. They'll drop to throw. He'll look Hopkins' way again. This is also complete. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call, you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about, so they got to continue to ride the hot hand, because right now on that field, there's no mistaking who it is. Looking middle, and he's got Ridley. Plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and 10. And that is incomplete. DeAndre Hopkins was the intended target for that one. And it'll lead to a second down. All right, so this is why you get paid the big bucks. These are the possessions as a quarterback you need to deliver for your team. Everybody talks about two minute. Everybody drills it every single week. But when it comes down to this moment in the game, your quarterback needs to be on point. And after that first down incompletion, it just makes things that much harder. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. They come to the line for this one. Third down, needing three. Here's Levis. Open man, right side. He's got it. And this is a touchdown. They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. The veteran Nick Folk here for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Titans have taken a four-point advantage. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. On the return, this is down. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Colts offense headed back to take over once more. The trail by four, a touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. A shotgun, Richardson. There's that man again. Another catch. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Here's the Indianapolis offense. Now as they get set to take over once more, they'll start from the plus side of midfield, looking to possibly take the lead here. It's first and ten. From the gun, Richardson. Oh, he can't get rid of it, and he's taken down. Timeout, Indianapolis. That is their second, as they'll stop it with 25 seconds remaining on the clock. They'll come up now for second down. Throwing is Richardson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time, but contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Great job there defensively separating the man from the ball. And this is the moments in the game where you need your best players to step up. And this guy's showing what he's capable of doing in the game's critical moment. From the gun on third down, Richardson. That's complete. Jonathan Taylor out of the backfield. Pretty good effort on that one. It will not be enough 
It's going to bring up fourth down. Now Richardson. And he's going to go down. The pressure once again too much. And that should wrap this one up. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. terrific team behind the scenes i'm mike tarico you've been watching the nfl on ea sports follow us on x at ea madden nfl the titans winners here in music city as we say so long from nashville